All right, everybody. Just want to do a quick market update. Uh, it's kind of like not a lot to see here. And what I talked about in my one of my final scenarios was balance and basically digesting the move that was made on Friday. Right? I talked about that. I said we could very well balance, and that's what's happening right now. Market's kind of digesting what happened on Friday. Okay, so remember I said this overnight session was balanced, right? Well, look where price is right now. At the pr the most traded price of the overnight, right? And I said, I said, I said earlier, I was like, that's the scenario. I said we can come up here and balance, come down here, and balance, right? And that's what we're doing. So in the mean, in the midterm, in the short term, this is bullish because we're holding value higher. Okay, we're holding value higher. We're trying to build out volume so that value can move higher for the week. Right, so that can be bullish. I did take a short earlier. I when we broke this level, three seven seventy one, and then the most traded price of Friday. I expected to get some excursion. I got it. I was looking to target here, but I wanted to take a, a decent win, but not a huge win. Um, and right now, there's not a lot going on, right? Now, really quickly, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, what I said earlier. And I'm going to go to the um, market profile here. And look at the value, right? Now you you notice now that we're building. This didn't look like this earlier, okay? It was kind of like this. Look what's happening. We're getting volume here now, okay? Price is building our value. Let's get to the let's get to the current session so I can really show you better, okay? See this volume that's getting built out? We could possibly move most traded price of the week up here and that would be bullish if we hold if we hold value up here right we can move it otherwise like I said if we can't we're gonna go back okay so that's happening short-term bullish so that's a bullish sign right now we're pushing a little higher now here's the midpoint of the session and we're right here so it doesn't really tell us much okay it doesn't really tell us much I think we should probably balance the rest of the day, but I, that doesn't mean that has to happen. Okay, the reason why I'm saying that is because if we go back to my internals, okay, let's go back to the internals. Uh, give me one second here because I don't have, um, let's just move it over. It doesn't matter. Now let's go to my internal screen, okay, and let's look at what I'm seeing, why I'm saying I maybe don't see. Okay, now if you checked at some of my market updates before, you saw larger numbers in each of these. Okay, so let's start with the ticks. Cumulative ticks at a minus 233. That's kind of benign. That's on the NASDAQ exchange. And I see exchange is only a plus 200. Okay, you can barely see the bars here. Look at the bars on Friday. Okay, you can see it's just benign. It's a benign reading not very strong not very weak okay let's go to the breath bubbles whenever you have a one to one that's kind of like parity okay it's red so that means that it's a little more selling than buying but only a little it's not gonna move the market that much okay here's another big tell largest Weight in the S&P is Infotech at 26.4%. It is down 0.22% off the open. Look at the next big, biggest weight at 15.10%. It's up 0.83. Right there, you're going to get chop. Okay, and then you have the next biggest, Consumer Discretionary is down 0.49 off the open. And then look at this, Financials is up 0.5. So you have a, 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 you have a red, a green, a red, and a green. That's going to be very choppy. Right there, the largest weighted sectors are split. Chop. Okay. Now, let's go to the 
the um, ADD, the advanced decline of the S&P 500. It was lower before, but 198 is still not that strong of a reading. It's getting stronger as I'm speaking. Okay? As I'm speaking. About 10 minutes ago, this was, I think, at like 80-something. So market is strengthening up a little bit. I can see Meta is pushing. So now we're catching a little more strength. Okay. We're pushing right now as we speak. I don't know how high we're going to go right now. But let's see. It's going to the other numbers, okay? Now we got the ADD of the NASDAQ, the NQ100. Now you can see NASDAQ is weaker. Look, it's 16. Remember, if 100 stocks were up from yes, Friday's close, it would say 100. If it was all the stocks were down from the close of Friday, it would say minus 100. So zero is parity. We're only at plus 16. That's that's very benign number. That's like right in the middle, right? The ES, the um, I'm sorry, the S&P 500 was only at 84 before I made this, started making this video, so it's got a little str it's got a little, a little stronger. Okay, now the, this, the weighted AD, it's right here, which is really important. Okay, it's only at 104. Before it was at like 30. That was really, but look, look, it went up, it crossed the zero line, it went back down, it went up, it went down, and now it's got a couple green bars. Okay, but it's kind of benign. It's a benign number. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. Let's bring it back to the market profile just so we can see it again. Okay, kind of balancing today, just like I said we might do with one of the scenarios. Just wanted to give that update. I'm not sure if I'll update it again. But, you know, my hands, I'm sitting on my hands right now. There's not much to do. Um, you know, Janet Yellen's speaking now, I believe. So maybe the market might slow down. So, all right. Um, maybe I'll check back later. But I might not. But hopefully this helped everybody out. And just, it's not really an environment to trade right now. You're in the middle of a chop. All right.